to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shatoka, and if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. So, first things first, Happy New Year. I'm so excited about this year of sewing. I'm planning on challenging myself this year and doing some more difficult makes. However, I am also too going to stick with what I know and love, which are my dresses, my skirts. I love knits, but I do definitely want to challenge myself in the new year. I did quite a few makes last year, but this video is going to be my top five. Um, I could have done this video earlier to post in 2023. However, I knew my New Year's Eve dress was probably going to be one of my favorite makes of the year. So I went along and waited till I can add that video and pictures in there. So yeah, today is January 4th, 2024. And I wanted to share with you guys my top five makes of 2023. So if you're interested to see what those makes were, go ahead and stick around. So I'm going to rank these items in order of five through one. So I'm going to start with my fifth favorite make of the year. And it is going to be a pattern review actually that I shared back in June. So all of these um, makes with the exception of one, which was the New Year's Eve dress, they do have pattern reviews. So I have to share them on the channel. So if you haven't seen those then i would say go to my playlist i do have all my pattern reviews in a playlist and you can find them so, but i uploaded this one on june the 8th of 2023 and this was a pants and vest that i did using butterick 6933 for the pants and i used a new look pattern um, for my vest new look 6914 so first things first the pants I had intended on making some pants for work um, out of this fabric that I had in my stash for a while and I just was not sure which pattern I wanted to use so I ended up making the pants again you guys can check out the pattern review to see more um, of an extensive review on that but when I made the pants I definitely wanted to make a vest because it just turned out so much better than I thought it would However, guys, like I haven't even worn this make yet outside. I actually did put the, the pants and the vest on for you guys for the video. But when I made it, I initially wanted to make it for work. But when I was done, I was like, this is so nice. I actually want to wear this somewhere. So I didn't even like wear it to work. I actually would like to wear it somewhere first before I then wear it to work. But it's so nice. I love how it turned out. And the buttery pattern is one of those work patterns and it has um, different views in there actually um, I ended up making that slip skirt that's in here as well so the pants are view C and they I would say are a more of an average so not really a beginner but the slip skirt that I did I actually ended up making it for um, the Beyonce movie um, I made like a silver and black skirt I didn't do a review on that here on the channel but I think when I make another one, I probably will do that for you guys because it was such a cute skirt. So yeah, I ended up making that, but these pants turned out really, really nicely. I actually did end up adding um, a few inches, I believe about two to three inches on the length because I am tall, but I really love how they turned out. And this was definitely my fifth best make of the year it was so nice um and i can't wait to actually wear it out so the the vest that i used to pair with it after i was done with the pants i just really loved how it turned out and i was like let me make a vest and i had this vest in my stash which was new look 6914 and it's a simple vest like so glad how it came together i love how i lined the vest um and i i couldn't like have a better pairing of that vest in those pants so really really nice so of course when i do wear them out i'll probably end up doing like a short or something so you guys can see it like styled outside but i will be inserting pictures and video of me in them when i did the pattern review so i'm going to move on to make number four so my fourth rank make was a simplicity coat so it is simplicity 8989 and again i did do a pattern review on this and i really love this jacket um, i initially just wanted to make a khaki colored trench coat 
and that's what I did. However, when I first made it the first time, the large was really big. So the second time I ended up making it, I made a print coat and I made it in a size small. So for the first trench coat, I did add, I believe like two inches on my sleeves because I have long arms. Um, and then I had patch pockets. So the pattern has patch pockets on the front of it. And I ended up omitting it on the second one. And I actually ended up doing, I did view A by the way, I ended up doing inseam pockets on the second coat which was the printed coat um and that's the only variation that i made the same sleeve variation to make it longer for me but just sizing down to a size small for the printed coat it was perfect and sorry about my light changing i'm using natural light and the sun is beaming today so it's going to be going in and, in and out but i just really want to get this video out for you guys but i really love the printed coat um really nice i would say that pattern is an average sew um you do have there's no like closures or anything you do have a belt but there's no like uh fasteners it was just a really simple straightforward coat but i think because of all the pattern pieces and the steps i would say not so much beginner for that pattern but i really love how it turned out I actually made this back um in november i uploaded this video on november the 6th 2023 so again you guys can go in the playlist and find the pattern review so you guys can see a more extensive um explanation on that pattern so we're gonna move up to pattern number three well make number three so this was actually a dress that I ended up wearing for a photo shoot. Me and my boyfriend were in California and we decided to do a photo shoot. We literally like just set up this tripod that I'm on right now and took pictures on our phone, but it came out so nice. And I used a McCall's pattern for this beautiful purple dress. Um, it is McCall's 8034. So I ended up doing view B, which is that floral, like, like printed one that's on the pattern envelope. And I did make some uh, omissions. Well, I did make some variations on this one. This is more so like a mid-length dress and I took off about three inches on the dress to make it shorter. Um, other than that, I actually did not extend the sleeves because it had that kind of like balloon sleeve where you have the strings that tie around to make it like a drawstring sleeve. So I felt like I really didn't need to. I can actually just like have the sleeve tied in the area where I want it. Um, but I really love how this dress turned out. It was so beautiful in our pictures. Um, I will be, of course, inserting pictures and video for you guys to see. I definitely will make this pattern again because it was so figure flattering. However, I did choose the wrong fabric for it. Um, with how it was fitted. It didn't have much stretch in there. So I was kind of nervous about um, posing and sitting down in the dress, but it looks it looks really nice on. Um, and I didn't put the boning in the dress that it calls for in the pattern. And I wish that I did. I actually think it would have added more structure to the dress. Um, so I did have like some ruffling um, at the bodice area. Um, it actually said that boning was only supposed to go in the back, but I think because it's princess seam, I could have put it all the way around and had it be more structured. Um, so next time around, I will add that, but I hadn't done boning before and actually just did it for the first time in December and it turned out really nice in a future make that you guys will see here on the channel. But yeah, other than that, I really love how the dress turned out and it was my favorite make um, up until when I started making other things like back in April when I made it I was just like this is so nice I really love how it turned out and it was perfect and it's just like it was just perfect with the pictures and everything how it turned out so I'm gonna make my way to number two so number two is actually um, a pattern review that you guys just saw recently where I went on an adult prom and so I use um, McCall's pattern 8037 and it's a very popular pattern again there's a pattern review you guys can check that out if you haven't seen that video but I just felt like old Hollywood glam in this dress. It was so beautiful. I used a black, um, like a stretch spandex fabric and it looked so luxurious. Really loved it. Had so much fun that night. Um, I ended up wearing like long gloves with it the night that I wore it, but I did end up putting it back on and taking video and pictures uh, for you guys in that pattern review because I wanted to get some like 
better well lit pictures and video um and of course i'll be inserting the pictures and videos here for you guys to see but i really love how the dress turned out i know for sure i'm gonna make it again because it's just a perfect classic dress that can be worn for special occasions but as i said in that pattern review i definitely want to like cut off well disconnect and have it be like a skirt on its own because I just love how it fit. It was so flattering. I did not use the split. I actually did use C, by the way. And I didn't use a sleeve that comes with the pattern. So here's the pattern. I'll just show you guys. Um, so I ended up doing view C. And so I didn't do the split. And I also did not do the sleeves. I just felt like I really didn't need it. Um, the dress just was so nice. And I was like, I, I don't need it. But in the future... Because these are two separate pieces, I definitely think I'm going to make me a few maxi skirts using the bottom portion. And I will probably have the split in some and then others I'll not have the split. But it was just so figure flattering. I love um, dress patterns that have like multiple seams because I feel like they personally fit better. And then even when you have to take things in, you can take them in equally and fit them more in the areas that you need more than others. So yeah, I really love how that one turned out. And like I said, that was actually my favorite make of 2023 until I did my New Year's Eve dress. So. If you guys hadn't seen my video, this or that, well, no, not this or that, my, um, what I'm working on Wednesday video, I actually talked about making two dresses for New Year's Eve and whichever dress I didn't, uh, wear, it was going to be my birthday dress. So I made two dresses, really love how both of them turned out. However, I ended up going with the second make, which was the sequins dress that I wore on New Year's Eve. And I actually made that by hacking, uh, what pattern was that? Actually, it was hacking uh, McCall's shirt pattern. So McCall 7686. And I've had this pattern forever. I believe this is like 2017. Yeah, 2017. So I wore this shirt today because this is actually from that pattern. So I got this pattern years ago. This is actually like a size 12, I believe. And this is the fitted sleeve, the one shoulder. So I did the one shoulder um, view. So that is actually view C, but I did the wide arm for the sequin dress. And all I did was extend the shirt pattern down to make a dress. So I believe I added 13 inches so I could have a mini dress. And you guys, it was perfect. I actually did cut out a sequins fitted sleeve first and I like tried the dress on and I, it was okay, but I just felt like the bell would be better. I don't know, it was just like the fact that it was a short dress, I felt like I needed a little bit more, I don't know, fabric to make it a little bit more elegant. So I actually ended up cutting out the sleeve. I had enough, luckily, I didn't have to go back to the store and buy. I just had the other uh, fabric to cut the one sleeve because it was only one needed. Um, the only thing is though, it is a stretch sequence with like a velvet backing. It does have a lot of stretch. However, for the shirt, I'm good with like a 12, but typically I would need a 14 or a 16 for like dresses, even in the knit patterns, especially with that um, fabric was a little bit thicker. So what I ended up doing, because I had already cut this pattern out years ago uh, when I made it I actually just I cut that front piece as the pattern like a size 12 but the back piece I cut out a little bit bigger because I was like I'm gonna need <laughs> a little extra material for like my hips and butt so I actually just took it out a little bit so the back piece is probably more like a 14 um, because I did kind of like taper it out a little bit so that it wouldn't be too tight because what I didn't want is to be restricted on New Year's Eve. I wanted to dance. I wanted to eat. I wanted to be because it's a pullover like Mrs. Uh, well, it's Mrs. Tops as it's described, but it's just a pullover dress. There's no closures, fasteners, anything. 
So I knew I wanted it to fit and look nice, but I didn't want to be so tight like I was stuffed in the dress. So I'm, so I'm really, really glad that I actually like took it out a little bit. So yeah, I'm really glad that I actually ended up hacking that pattern because it's such a cute dress. I definitely feel like I'm going to make a few more. I love a good one shoulder. Um, it was just so cute and it was like the perfect little mini dress. I actually did add like a lining to the top portion. I actually had a little bit lining um, left over from the first dress that I made that's going to now be my birthday dress. Um, and I just wanted to line the top instead of doing like a normal hem on that sequins. Um, but I only lined the top portion. So I pretty much like made like a little shell like it kind of looked like a little crop top and I didn't line the sleeve. I actually only made, duplicated the pieces um, front and back and made it like this long so that it could just like fold onto itself and then I folded it in and top stitched around. Um, I actually didn't even hem the sleeve or the bottom of the dress because it's like a thicker velvet with the um, sequins on top and it doesn't fray or anything. So I just like cut it straight across just to make sure it was a nice, good, crisp cut. Um, and it was actually perfect. I got so many compliments that day and I'm actually so glad that I went with that one because I was leaning towards the first one at first um, because I just felt, I don't know, it was I was going through like not being able to decide even the day before um, because I ended up ordering some boots and they're really nice but they didn't look as good with either of the dresses than I thought it would. So I actually ended up wearing a, like a pump that I had wear worn on the photo shoot when I did the purple and it was perfect. I just put pearl accessories on, but the birthday dress I'm super excited about now. I'll give you a little sneak peek, not with it on, but just so you guys can see like it's still silver, kind of the direction that I'm going. But now that I'm not going to do a dress look, cause I actually used a pattern where um, it's put together like the top and bottom. I just had them separate, so it's a two piece. So now I think I want to make a blazer out of the same fabric um, and have a three piece to wear for my birthday. So you guys will have to stick around to see that, but super excited about that. But overall, 2023 was a good sewing year for me. Again, I'll have to tally up all of my makes to see how many I did. I know for my YouTube videos, I actually surpassed um, last year's uploads, but I actually also had like thrifting videos and home decor videos, but I uploaded 47 videos this past year. And I just want to thank you guys for always supporting me. I have such great support and positive support here on this channel. You guys always leave nice comments and I'm looking forward to sharing more content here on this channel. So if you love sewing content, thrifting, home decor, I would say go ahead and subscribe if you are not already subscribed and also click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. So until next time, bye and happy new year.